I'm Matsuba Judge, and I'm so blessed and excited to be bringing God's word to you today. Hey, it's such a delight receiving words from the Lord for you every day. Now, you may not understand how this works. I remember some months ago when we had a few, um, a little challenge, so we couldn't. Um, produce or we, we couldn't bring God's word to you. I know, I, I remember how I felt. I, I felt lost, praise God. Why? See, because now, I'm not just coming here to tell you what I feel I should tell you. I'm coming here to bring myself under the hand of the Lord, that He will communicate what is in His heart for you. So doing that makes me become aware of God's mind, not just for you, but also for us. You see, now sometimes we, we are doing this and new things come from the heart of the Lord. And I'm like, whoa, really? And I'll take weeks and weeks meditating on it, praise God. So you see, I get the opportunity to do His word because his word is coming to you. See that? So not being able to do this becomes a big challenge, <laughs> praise God. Because you're like, oh Lord, I miss, I miss that fellowship. Now, if this is happening in me, it should be happening in you. Thank you, Jesus. Are we ready for today's broadcast now? Can we call for that daily bread? Close, join your faith with my. I've got, I've got plenty. Remember I said it yesterday, even if you don't have faith, don't worry. Switch to the faith of Jesus. Now, what's the faith of Jesus now in this, in this matter? Jesus said, and the book will say, Haya Kaibasha. He said to us, hey, when you pray, Tell the Father, give us this day our daily bread. Jesus told us, tell the Father this. Now, he has faith that the Father will answer you. Did you see that? I don't have faith. I don't know if I have faith. Jesus has had faith. And because of his faith, now, I I imagine my children coming to me and say, Daddy, we want this. And I say, hey, you know, you know, I call them, you know, and say, okay, come. Where's mommy? Mommy said, mm, this is how you should go and ask mommy. Tell her, mommy, can you do this for me? Now, I believe my child should have faith in my words. See that now? And just go. He doesn't have to go somewhere and say, hey, oh, God, give me faith to trust daddy's words. No, he just has to obey the instructions. Go to mommy and say, mommy, this, 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 this. And mommy said, all right, okay, go ahead, go have it, praise God. Like, yeah, it worked. Now that's exactly how God said, Jesus said, we should ask God for our daily bread. So he said, give us this day. Our daily bread is a request. Are you ready now? Let's release our faith. Say, Father, I demand for my daily bread today. It's coming to me now. And everything that I have not received this year, I receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I speak over those of you that have bills that have been pending. House rent. Whatever bill that I've been pending for this year, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a door of supply is coming to you right now that will cause those bills to be paid this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you are not taking any bill into next year. You are not owing anyone going into next year. So, in the name of the Lord Jesus, receive right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, learn to take advantage of the season 
that we are in. Take advantage of it. You remember Jesus, Isaiah speaking concerning Jesus. You remember the Lord told us this month is a month of peace for us. Praise God. It's a month of peace for us. Now, Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'll show you something. He had said to us that he will keep in perfect peace those whose mind are stayed on him because they trust in him. So he has, the, he has taken over the responsibility of keeping in perfect peace those whose mind are hooked. So all you need to do is to hook your mind on him. How do you hook your mind on him? Keep your heart on what he says. Now, in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6, now this is, you know, when we celebrate, I'm sure if you went to church this season, or oh, you just need to put on your TV and you must have heard this scripture shared, you know, to you. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a, a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called, watch this now, his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He says his name shall be called. Now, I want you to understand something about this prophecy. This was a prophecy. He wasn't saying, I am a Kasi Abrahish. He wasn't saying at the point of his naming ceremony, they shall start calling him, you know, you know, you know like we do today, you know, you go for a, a, a naming ceremony and say, okay, so now we don't do what is the name of the child now. We, what are the names of this child? Praise God. And then you see a list. Sometimes one child will give, give a list of five names and they say, um, uh, Michael, that's the English one. Uh, uh, Allah something something oh now and then you see the father gave a name the mother gave a name the uncle gave a name the he, 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 you understand what I'm talking about now that's not what he was saying here that on the day of the naming of Jesus the eighth day after he was born then they will not say okay what shall the child be called oh there's a prophecy his first name shall be called wonderful oh wonderful what a wonderful name is <laughs> god and then the next name is counselor the next one is no that's not what isaiah was saying isaiah was prophesying about the life and character of jesus and he said look this child this one that shall be born this one that shall be given, they will call him wonderful. They will call him counselor, not at his naming, but by reason of his works, by reason of his actions. So Jesus goes to a place and then he, he does something wonderful. And the people say, ah, you are just wonderful. Prophecy fulfilled. You get into a confusing situation and like, dear Lord, I don't know what to do. And then, pam, light comes into you. And then you begin to hear the Lord instruct you on what to do. Whoa! Wow! You are just a counselor. Thank you, Lord. Yes! Praise God. Whoa! You just told me what to do. I'm not confused anymore. See that now? Then he says, mighty God. Oh, think about all the times they said concerning Jesus. Na, 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 na. This is God indeed among us. He says, everlasting Father. Then he says, he will be called the Prince of Peace. You remember him with his disciples traveling on that boat? And there was a mighty storm and they were so scared. And Jesus stood up when they woke him up. He said, peace be still. He didn't go, peace, I command you. No, no, no. He woke up, looked around and said, peace, be still. 
And the Bible said there was a great calm. What is that? The Prince of Peace have spoken. Peace have to respond. So in your life also, you will experience him. You will call him the Prince of Peace. And hey, guess what? He now dwells on the inside of you. So when we call him the Prince of Peace, yeah, he is. He sees to it that peace is maintained in our lives. He sees to it that peace is maintained in our nation. He sees to it that everything around us is surrounded by peace. And that's the one that we are in fellowship with. He's the Prince of Peace. I don't know what is trying to trouble your life right now. Yesterday I spoke to you about anxiety. Refuse to be anxious. Why? I've got the Prince of Peace living in me and living with me. He's here. He's here. He's here. And his concern is to administer rulership over my life. And that's why we call him Lord. Lord Jesus. Yeah. So I come under his lordship. You see, the disciples in that boat, they were men. Jesus was just like a man. But then they did something very important. When they didn't know what to do, they went to him and said, Master, don't you care that we perish? First, they called him Master. Next, they put the whole care on him. Because they were actually saying, how come you are here and then we perish? Do something about it. And he took position as Lord. And he said, peace, be still. Because he's Lord over them, just like he's Lord over us. And then also he is the Prince of Peace. So they needed peace at that time. They submitted to his Lordship and he brought peace. Brothers and sisters, if you would just bring that situation under his Lordship right now, he is going to rise as the Prince of Peace. And there shall be other in that situation. There shall be other in that situation. I see someone, you, you have a mom who you're so concerned she's losing her mind. You, you've seen those signs. It's not full blown yet, but you've seen those signs. Because your mom is quite um, aged. I see her past 70 years of age. But then you are concerned because you have seen signs that she's losing her mind. And it brings so much fear into your heart. You, you know, you know, just what am I going to do? Hey, can we bring that situation under the Lordship of Jesus right now? Thank you, Jesus. Precious Lord Jesus, we bring this situation of this woman under your Lordship. Now, as we do this, everything in your life that you need to bring under the Lordship of Jesus, join us right now. I'm using this as a point of contact, but Jesus will still so pretend over every situation. So we bring this woman's situation and every situation everyone is bringing right now. The financial situation, the health challenge situation, Lord. Arise as Lord. We bring it under your Lordship, Lord. Minister peace right now. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we speak peace right now. Into this woman's mind, we speak peace. Into every situation right now, we speak peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, peace be still. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, this particular woman, her mind is completely restored in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Now I want to hear from you if a miracle has taken place in your life. It's good to share. So we confirm it and bless God for it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and enjoy today. Praise God. Bye-bye.